Hey everyone, Genome here. Well, the day is upon us. That's right, the big patch day. And uh, we've got a slew of new things to talk about. But uh, for brevity's sake, I'm just going to talk about one thing, and that is the three upcoming um, Mystic characters. Or basically, they're in the game, just not for us yet. Um, I'm sure a lot of intrepid uh, Krakens and Whales have already uh, got Deathpool. But other than that, we're still waiting on the other two. So... Um, I'm not going to really be talking about Cloak, Dagger, and Deathpool in this video, other than to say that they're going to make symbiotes uh, as far as uh, spreading debuffs around look like amateurs. <laughs> and um, because of their kits, I decided to put together kind of a list of some characters that can help you fill out the rest of the squad until we get the rest of the new warriors or whatever. Uh, some of which are kind of older too, so some people might have them built up. Uh, you got two here that aren't going to be too surprising, but one that probably going to catch a lot of people off guard. So I figured I'd go ahead and try it. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to talk about three more characters that I think will go very well uh, into the open slots they have on this team. All right, so one of the uh, first selections here in my little mini list is going to be Moon Knight. He's the newest by far of all the other characters I'm going to show here. And outside of war, he doesn't really have a team. So he might be a pretty decent fit. Now he does carry uh, the important Mystic tag, and that's about the only thing that really gels with the, the team itself. But one big thing that he does, and sorry, I don't have him really <laughs> unlocked. I barely worked on him at all. I have unlocked but not worked on, is his ultimate. His ultimate at the very end, top of things is going to spread tons and tons of debuffs out there. And probably for two turns, depending on how built he is, you can get tons of extra focus, by the way. Uh, from the other three members so yeah it's going to be ramped up like crazy and what my thing was is because two of or one each i think it's each of the specials actually i think of all three of them uh, they all clear a bunch of buffs off a of character so if you lead off fights with like cloak and and then uh actually uh, speed order is going to go de uh, death pool cloak and then dagger each of those could target one character and completely remove all their their positive effects for the most part, right? So, bam, you get a fresh, um, basically uh, unprepared group that's getting ready to get some negative effects. And what better time to launch the ultimate of Moon Knight is is then? I mean, the timing works out perfectly with their speed. So, yeah, you're gonna drop some serious uh, debuffs on the other team. And, well, guess what? The other characters do that, too, crazily. But you don't always have to go with, start off with their ultimates in. You can actually start with their clears first and then uh, work your way out with characters like this who drop lots of debuffs. So I was thinking, because Moon Knight does share the Mystic tag, and he's also a hero, so he's going to get some of the other stuff, like regeneration from the start of the fight and all that from, I think it's Cloak's passive and all that. Or, excuse me, Dagger's passive, but... Anyway, there's some synergy there. He's a hero and he's a mystic, and he just drops this huge bomb on turn one full of uh, negative effects on the other team who should be pretty well cleared if they start with any kind of buffs, and it's going to be devastating. Uh, and the best part is, even if they only last for one turn for whatever reason, or you don't have them built up with a T4 or whatever, well, guess what? The next turn, the ultimate's up for Cloak and Dagger, which everyone you want to use, and they basically give <laughs> uh, stats effects down to everybody. So it's it's... Brutal, brutal, brutal. So I figure since he didn't really have a home right now outside of war, offense, uh, this is something to consider for those of you who like the character. Okay, so speaking of characters who are kind of rapidly losing teams, uh, let's talk about Thanos. Thanos has uh, some pretty interesting synergies with, um, especially with Deathpool, but he has, he has pretty uh, good synergies. And what the only, about the only thing that team lacks is some sort of real protection other than weakening the foes. If you stick a taunt out there, oh my goodness, especially one who has a sticky taunt like Thanos, oh man, it's, it's going to be lights out. Thanos has the amazing perk of almost everyone who has ever had him for any length of time has built him up greatly. As you can see here, he's my second highest character. It's going to be incredible. Uh, and he's not just a tank. Because if you just want a tank, you could throw like Juggernaut on there. He's got the Mystic Tag too. But he only taunts for one turn. Long cooldowns. Not really all that great to be honest with you. But you can use him. But Thanos is like tailor made for this group. Now, while he is a villain, so he's going to miss out on a lot of the uh, extra um, passive stuff that's going on with Cloak and Dagger or whatever, he still has another important tag, and that is Cosmic. Guess who else shares that Cosmic tag? Deathpool. Uh-huh. So here we go again. This is the old um, 
raid scenario where you stick Thanos all the way into one side and you stick uh, Deathpool right behind him since uh, she's the only other cosmic character on the team and he's going to funnel almost every bit of that energy into her. Deathpool will be alting or specialing every single turn. Bar none on, in raids. I mean, it's almost... <laughs> the scenario where, where she wouldn't be is just about impossible to come by with all the enemies that are dropping. Huge synergy there. And he can kind of help self-heal himself too with Energy Bomb. And the way they're going to be killing stuff uh, shouldn't be any problem. So, I mean, now, this, some of these strategies might not work out for, like, the Doom Raids, you know, depending on what makeup is required. But I'm just saying for, like, U7 below and most other content that you can put these guys in, I think uh, these, these three uh, subs could work out well. But anyway, back to it. Thanos, I think, would make a great tank. He's built up already pretty far uh, for most people to have him. And why not put him somewhere? Because Black Order's falling fast. And, uh, yeah, he could really be, like, the most annoying thing in the world to try to get through if you're up against these guys. So Thanos is my number two choice. Why die? Freeze up there. And here he is, my big surprise reveal. It's none other than Graviton. Yes, yes, Graviton, the much maligned character. Not so much maligned, but he's just on a team that's not used for really anything after you get past certain campaign nodes. And what better way to revitalize him than putting him on a debuff team? So, yes, Graviton. Why would I use him? He shares no tags, no real similarities with the other characters. Well, guess what? He has got three things that tie in extremely well with what Cloak Dagger and Deathpool are doing. And you can also say Moon Knight um, as well. <laughs> and uh, but you know the funny thing is basically his best move is actually the one thing that doesn't really tie in uh, but it doesn't hurt and it also applies some slows and does some decent damage and all that but here is the key to making Graviton a serious killing machine so the things that really tie in so well with what you know Deathpool and friends are doing also including Moon Knight is that he gets stronger when the other team is debuffed. Specifically, some of his abilities. Gravity Well itself. This thing hits hard when the other character has a debuff on him. This thing hits really, really, really hard when the other team has four, five, six, you know, plus debuffs on them. This is a curb stomp of a basic here. Uh, once you get him built up a little bit. This will require you to build Graviton, which I definitely don't suggest, but if you already have him and then you have, you know, you've unlocked these guys and you're still building them up, they're not really hugely powerful yet, I think he would slide in well. But, um, yeah, and then his ultimate. You want to talk about a nuke, a single target nuke? Oh, boy. <laughs> once again, it ramps up per negative effects. This is going to be like a turn one delete, you know, if the other team, because he's going to go... If, if he was on the team with um, Deathpool, Cloak, Dagger, and Moon Knight, uh, he would go last in that rotation. So, yeah, every there would be negative effects everywhere. So he would be just crushing people with this move. And if somehow he didn't kill him, it's going to stun him. So amazingly powerful move. And he's got yet more synergy with this team. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, his passive. So when an enemy drops below 50% health, increase the number or duration of negative effects by one. <laughs> yeah, and they're going to be swamped with negative effects. Uh, as hard as Death Pool and uh, possibly Moon Knight and all that hit, or whoever your you know your other characters who are doing the real damage, even Cloak and Dagger hit fairly hard. Yeah, they're going to be dropping down 50% in no time, and bang, they're just going to have buffs debuffs forever you know there's not gonna be it's, it's gonna be very difficult to cleanse all this stuff so i don't know it's he's definitely a hipster kind of choice and selection there but i really think that uh, graviton could turn into a death dealing machine on the team at least until they get a full team slotted in so i'm just trying to give some ideas basically of different characters you can use for these new ones when they get opened up and since the new warriors and all that are not fully fleshed out yet, think like X Factor, same kind of thing right there. Just uh, look to put some valuable characters in there that have some synergies with them, not necessarily mystics, 
um, so they're not just sitting there gathering dust in your rosters and really help fill out the team, you know. And because I mean, yes, everyone's gonna think, "Well, oh, put Silver Surfer in there." Well, you might be using him somewhere else, or maybe it's not available for that node. Whatever. So I'm just trying to give some ideas. You know, there's another option too if you really want to get try hard. Um, you could say forget Moon Knight and you can stick Toad Blob, or excuse me, you can say forget Graviton, stick Toad and Blob on there. <laughs> and then Blobs, Deflex will be feeding Moon Knight offense up and all that, making him even stronger. And they got a Protector Taunt then too, so that could work as well. Blob or Toad would go pretty quick. Most of the time he would go first and all that. But anyway, just some ideas out there. But yeah, let's say you. What are some uh, fourth and fifth characters you think you would put on this team if you're going to run all three of them together? That is Cloak Dagger and Death Pool. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and uh, let me know what you think about these selections. I know they're a little bit out there, but uh, you know me, I like to try to think outside of the box. So anyway, uh, until next time, this is Genome, out.